What is up you guys, welcome to Manifest Build Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to build this sexy 5x5 medieval house behind me that you see there. It is a simple yet great looking small house, maybe for just getting started. And it looks great in any neck of the woods, maybe on a server or a single player world. And it has all your basic essential needs like a crafting table, storage, furnaces, and of course a bed. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's get to the tutorial. So first thing you're going to want to do is find a 5x5 area, I'm just going to build right next to the house I got right here. And you're going to want to dig out a 3x3 square area, like this. Then dig down three blocks till you dug a 3x3 three three hole four blocks down. Get on down inside and expand it to be a 5x5 five five hole while leaving your top layer alone. And when you're done you should have something that looks like this. This right here will be your basement but before we get to that we need to build our base structure. So what you want to do is take your cobblestone wall and whichever way the door is facing, that's where you want to start. Take your cobblestone wall and go three high and do the same on the other end and leave a three by three gap in the center. And in here you're going to want to take your cobblestone stairs and place them two right here. And then in the center is where your door will go. Now go to the other side and place another cobblestone stair and take your oak wood and go three high with that. Take your cobblestone stair, put it down and then take your oak wood and go again three high. And I'm sure you can guess at what's going to happen now. You're going to take your cobblestone stair and then we're changing it up now. You're going to take your stone bricks and go three high. Now back to the stone stairs and do the same thing. Oak wood, go three high. Cobblestone stairs, oak wood, three high. And cobblestone stairs again. Then in between the cobblestone stairs, you're going to place a cobblestone block and go three high. Cobblestone blocks, three high, and do the same in every one. Now we are almost done. All we got to do is add our upside down cobblestone stairs, and you're going to place them right above your normal cobblestone stairs. This will give your home just a little bit more shape and make it seem, I guess, realistic might be the word I'm looking for. Probably not. Now make sure you're paying attention because this might get tricky. Place your cobblestone slab in between your cobblestone stairs. And that's it. You're pretty much done now with the bottom besides adding in the door, but we'll get to that in a bit. Next thing you're going to want to do is take your oak wood and go across. And what I like to do is leave the bottom facing out. That way I can add the button on the outside just to give it a little bit uh, more detail, I guess you could say. And we're going to remove this back one and replace it and do the same thing just so the bottom is facing out. And do the same thing on the other side. And replace it. Then you go across with your oak wood. Starting to look nice. Okay, now you're going to want to go three high with your oak wood in all the corners. Now we're going to be adding the second story or third story if we're counting the base as a first story. So we're just going to do the same thing that we did on the layer below and have the bottoms facing out. And just rinse and repeat. Now we're changing it up again. We're going to go too high instead of three. Now we're going to do our roof, which is pretty simple. All you got to do is just take your oak wood stairs and go across. And do the same thing on the other side. Now the side of the roof that is on the same side as the door, you're going to go upside down stairs. And make a nice little archway. And then in between here, you're going to place an upside down stairs just to connect it all and give it uh, some nice shape. And at the very top, you're going to place an oak wood slab. Now we just got to fill in our roof and make it look nice and dandy. And on the inside here, just take your oak wood planks and go all the way across. And then take your oak wood slab and go across on the top as well. Now to finish up the back of the roof, you're just going to take your oak wood blocks and go across like that again. 
Now we're going to work on the outside of the house and get it looking pretty and ready to start working on the inside. So what you're going to do is take your oak wood blocks and you're going to do one high all the way around on the first layer, like so. Then take your wool and you're going to go too high and leave the center blank because that's where your windows are going to go. So do that on all sides of the house. And you guessed it, go ahead add your glass panes. And now your windows are done. So up here is where stuff might get tricky. And instead of taking oak wood blocks, you're going to take grass blocks or dirt, whichever one you feel comfortable with. I don't judge. And then take trap doors and on the top right here, just fold them down in. So it just kind of looks like a little flower balcony thingy. It just adds shape and color to the house to kind of separate it, make it just look a little bit fancier. Now take your wooden planks and you're going to go across the back end of the grass blocks all the way out to the sides like this. And then just do the same thing you did on the bottom layer and just rinse and repeat. Now you're just going to finish up by adding your wool. And on the front here, you're going to do the same thing you did downstairs and leave a too high gap for your glass pane to go in. And now glass pane and you're done. Now of course to add some extra detail, I know that it kind of goes outside the 5x5 five five layer thingy-majig, but you don't have to do it. I just do it because it looks good. You're going to add some buttons on the outside. And now it's time to start working on the inside of the house, so go ahead and take your spruce wood or whichever wooden floor you'd like to use. I like to separate my walls from my floors, so I'm using spruce and we're just going to go ahead and go around all over the inside of the house. Now this one right here, we're placing ladders up the side like that, so we're just going to go ahead and take this and take it out. And then this dirt block here, take that out too and replace it with spruce. That way it has a nice clean hole. And then to finish up this storage, you just want to take your fences and place them down the corners right here by the wood and put torches on top of them to add some light down here. So before we get into adding the next door, we're going to go ahead and decide where we want our ladders to go up and down from. So what I did is I used the back left side of the house as my ladder post. So I just went up all the way like so. And actually I broke this right here. That way it could go out and look like a chimney because I'm a baller and that's how I roll. So now we're gonna work on the story for our next floor and it's pretty much the same thing. You're gonna leave that space right here open for the ladder and you're just gonna fill in right where the oak wood is with spruce wood. And this will be a nice floor. Now it's the same thing for the next floor. You're just going to take your spruce wood and you're going to leave a hole there and this will be your next story. Now once you're done adding in your floors, you can go ahead and start putting in your ladders. I suggest putting them on this cobblestone wall right here just because it looks nice. Now it's time to start working on the interior and we're going to start with the basement and work our way up. So you're going to take your cobblestone wall up there and you're going to go all the way down to the basement floor. Again, don't forget to add your ladder so you can get back up. Now we're going to start working on our basement walls. I chose stone bricks and you're just going to take your stone bricks and go all the way around the outside of your basement. Now since we added the walls, it's already starting to feel a little bit cramped. And I want at least one place in the house that feels a little bit more open than the rest. So what we can do right here is take these four blocks out right there on the opposite end of the ladder. And we're going to replace that with furnaces. Then on top, we're going to take stone brick stairs and connect it like that. But it still doesn't feel as open as we want it to. So we're going to take these three blocks right here. And we're going to replace these two with stone stairs. And we're going to replace these with chests. Now it feels a little bit more open and we're still within the 5x5. Five five. But to add in just a little bit of decoration, take away these three blocks right here. And you're going to take your stone brick stairs and place them on top of each other all the way to the other end of the wall. To me that kind of creates like a wine cellar holding place kind of look to it. I like it. I don't know if you like it, but I do. 
And now your basement is pretty much done. All you gotta do is just add a torch somewhere. Bam, like that. Now it's time to start working on the living space area that doesn't really have a purpose, but just looks pretty good. You're gonna take your birch wood stairs or whichever type of stairs you want and place a chest right beside it. Then you're gonna take your bookshelf and you're gonna go up to and put a oak wood slab on top of that. Then take out a fence, put on your pressure plate on top of that just to give it a nice table kind of look. And underneath of that, you can put a crafting table like that. So I can come in here and just, oh look, hey crafting table, hey look, I need my stuff from the chest. It's right next to each other. I'm getting a little overly excited about that, but you know what? Minecraft. Next, let's go up to the bedroom, and you're going to put your bed in the corner right there. And you can put another chest over here with a torch right above it. And see this right here? I'm not a big fan of that right there. So we're going to take some, uh, some stairs. Let's put in stairs right here. We're going to take our oak wood stairs, and we're going to put one there, and one here, and one there. This way it just gives kind of shape in the bedroom area and looks nice. It's, it's like a kind of like a loft kind of thing. And then if you want to spice it up, you can always add some paintings or whatever else into the house that you want. And now we're pretty much done with the house. All you got to do is add a spruce, spruce wood block right there. That way it gives this nice little dimension look to it. And then you can take your wooden door and place it right there in front of it. And you got your door and everything is done except you got to add your chimney. So we're going to take our cobblestone, we're going to go up two, you know what, maybe three, we'll go up three, and then you can add your cobblestone wall, it's always optional, you know, be creative, that, that's all you got to do, and now you are done, it's an exact replica besides the flowers, you can add the flowers, it's, you know, self-explanatory. And that concludes this episode of Manifest Build Tutorials. The download link will be in the description, as well as a texture pack I'm currently using. It is Conquest, by the way. And the reason I'm using it is because here is Conquest, and here is normal Minecraft. So if you are a fan of building medieval-type builds, I say go with Conquest. It's a great texture pack. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want me to build something else, you want me to build a 10x10 something or something or a 3x3 something, let me know in the comments down below. It's up to you guys what I build. Or if you want, just tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like the build, if you think it's okay, if you think it's bad, let me know because I'm always curious to see what you guys are thinking. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tutorials or other types of videos of awesomeness, and I'll see you guys next time.